Okay, welcome back to the Obscene Extreme uh, TV again, to, uh, fucking channel 69, uh, live, <laughs> live from uh, Baltimore, Maryland, and um, this is an uh, interview with a uh, former um, main player at the Obscene Extreme Festival, uh, Martin from Fundrun and from uh, Hell of Bullets. Hello, Martin. Hi, how are you doing? Good yeah. morning, fellas. Yeah, 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 nice to see you again. So, how are you enjoying this uh, festival in uh, Baltimore? Perfect as usual. I mean, Baltimore is just great and the Maryland Death Fest is just something else. It's uh, one of a kind in the world. It's the best death metal festival that North America has to offer. So, yeah, I'm always having a blast. Fantastic. Can you still uh, manage to do all the shows with Aspics and uh, Hail of Bullets doing, going at the same time? If I wouldn't manage it, I wouldn't be standing here, would I? <laughs> still not dead. <laughs> All right, uh, you've uh, recorded recently uh, the second album for Hell of Bullets, uh, so you are here to support the uh, songs from that album as well? Yeah, definitely. For us, uh, because we already played when a Frost and War was out, so today we want to focus more on Divine Winds, so we're going to have six Divine Winds uh, songs and three of Frost and War, because, yeah, it's the album that we never played in America before, so I think the people have a right to, you know, to hear that. Great, and then uh, what's going on with uh, Asphyx these days? Are you about to uh, prepare some new songs? Well, the, actually the music is done for the new album. I just have to write the lyrics and we have to uh, you know, do some extra guitar parts. So we hope to have it ready this year. And it's going to be fucking heavy. Damn. So we'll see you on, on, on tours uh, for quite some time this year, I think so, right? Well, not really touring, but I mean, you know, playing lots of shows, yeah, definitely. Uh, wherever we can, so, I mean, we're already probably fully booked until half December, so... This boy's having a blast on his old age. <laughs> yeah. So it's great uh, to, to see you uh, still, you know, strong, you know, supporting uh, the shows and going out, you know. You still remember the old times in the 90s, like when you started with Bolt Rover and that stuff? Yeah, you bet I did. You know, because the thing is, like, it's just changed, like, a lot over the years, but if you come out of the older situation where you were not spoiled as a band, where you had to, you know, sleep in dodgy hotel rooms or sleep on stations, and nowadays everybody pays you a hotel room, so you... Uh, yeah, you you appreciate everything way more, but you're still the same guy that you were like four years ago. So, I mean, I haven't changed. I think nobody else has changed in bullets in general. And if bands did change and and became like arrogant bastards, well, they should fucking quit and go slit their wrists, you know, or something. So yeah, I'm in mean, fucking enjoying myself. <laughs> Has the scene changed in uh, your view, like when you uh, compare the old days uh, when you started to uh, the scene of today when it's more mixed like hardcore punk and everything together? Um, well, really changed? No, I don't think so. The only thing is that what has changed is, um, is, is a different kind of death metal like coming up and fortunately nowadays I hear like there's better, um, it's changing for the good because all of a sudden, like all kinds of bands, pick up like the old school feeling again. So they lose. Thank you very much, Stefan. Uh, he just popped in and gave me like it's like a thumbs on my stomach because it's burning. Uh, yeah, well, that's just next to that. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's the scene really hasn't changed. The metal fans are just as dedicated as they were always. A metalhead is a metalhead, and it's just that nowadays people seem to get like a more feeling for old school metal, and, and I think that's fantastic because I am an old school metal boy in the, in the first place. Yeah. Cool, cool. Uh, are you any specific plans that you would like to achieve with your bands? Like, uh, you know, with the aspects going strong and Hell of Bullets really becoming more and more popular? Like any place you would like to play, for example, or something that? Yeah, I would, I would really love to play one time like South America. Because I've never been there and fans are like bombarding us with questions. It's just going to be hard, you know, because the lads are working and especially Bob with Asphyx, he adores his family and his children, which is his good right, you know, that comes in the first place. So it's not easy for us to go away, like, for two weeks, but that's one of the things that I really like to do. And next to that, I'm sometimes thinking of because, you know, China, like, everything is booming there. They have God knows how many, like, million citizen cities there. And I would just love to, you know, just fucking one time play China and see what these people, you know, how they freak out. And in Japan, I've never been there as well. So there's still, like, many things to achieve before I die <laughs> great so uh, <laughs> yeah yeah we, I, t I hope that uh, you will be still going strong and that, that to, uh, we can also see you uh, next time uh, the uh, the festival back in Czech you know at the Obscene Extreme so 
Uh, I hope that you can sometime for uh, you know next in the next uh, couple of years or something. Oh, well, we, I, mean, I think we're going to we're going to come to Offsuit Extreme next year because he tried Ch tried already to get us this year, but we had other obligations. So and we know it's a nice festival. And we really have a, and Chervy is a nice guy. We have a blast there. So I think next year we're going to play there. And uh, yeah, well, I mean, thanks for all the nice words. Um, I mean, we're like a band. We like to play basically everywhere where there's a good atmosphere, there's good people around, and you know, just promote the albums and, and just make people happy with good, you know, good time, old rock and roll, death metal music, whatever you want to call it, because it's still, you know, still like that. Great, it's amazing. So, uh, any message that you would like to pass to your uh, old-time fans of Aspix and uh, and now, you know, hell of bullets, you know, back to home to Czech or to Europe? Yeah, well, I mean, what can I say? Uh, especially, like, the last one or two years have been overwhelming, not just with the success that we have, but also the people that, you know, overwhelm us with compliments, with, uh, with the mails, with everything that they just want from us. And I think we have a... We're really privileged as a band, they're like so very dedicated fans and I really want to thank them for everything they ever did to us. Like last weekend in Finland they came up to me with like a movie of the Finnish Russian War, uh, books of the Finnish Russian War. People sent me books of the first of the Second World War. I mean what band has that? It's just it makes me like you know, like blush and be quiet because what can you say? You can say thank you, but you you know you don't have the feeling like it's enough. So I think um it's yeah. It's best that as last voice or something. Yeah, it's definitely amazing to support uh, the history and the people of, you know, acknowledging the past and knowing, uh, learning about the past. I think it's a great, it's uh, one of the unique things that uh, you can, uh, you know, bring, uh, you know, uh, new stuff to the to the scene, definitely. So, so thank so. you very much for that. I mean, it's really nice to hear that. So, yeah, so thank you, my, thank you very much for the interview, Martin. All the best to, to you, to, to Hell of Bullets and to Asfix, and hope to see you, you know, many times in the future. Thank you very much, and thank you very much for this interview, and I hope, like, I've seen it stream will uh, never die this key deck festival still going strong uh, you know as long as you can and well I'm on like in about an hour and I want to just do my best and rage again and have a good time Thank thanks you. again all the best thank you too oops I tap it. thanks yeah, thanks man thanks thank you